Edward Robert Hughes, known affectionately as Ted to his family, bore the brush as a conduit of enchantment. Born amid the bustling alleys of Clerkenwell in 1851, his artistic lineage was intertwined with the very essence of the pre-Raphaelite brotherhood. He imbibed the creative nectar from his uncle, the luminary Arthur Hughes, and honed his craft under the tutelage of William Holman Hunt, a founding figure of the Brotherhood. Ted's canvas was a realm of ethereal whimsy and intricate detail, a sanctuary where fantastical scenes and mystical narratives found life in delicate strokes of watercolors or vibrant hues of oil. His oeuvre, a kaleidoscope of wonder, transcended mere depiction, inviting viewers into realms where dreams mingled with reality. His mastery of aestheticism lent an air of subtle beauty to his works, underscoring the delicate balance between the seen and the unseen. While renowned for his otherworldly canvases like Midsummer Eve and Night with Her Train of Stars, Hughes's journey commenced with the staid portrayal of upper-class portraits. Yet it was in his fantastical endeavors that he found his true voice, beckoning audiences to explore the enigmatic tapestries woven from his imagination. Beyond his artistic prowess, Hughes was a devoted studio aide to the ailing Hunt, contributing significantly to iconic masterpieces like The Light of the World and The Lady of Shalott. His dedication to perfection and relentless experimentation illuminated his path, yielding studies that transcended mere practice often claiming their place on the esteemed walls of galleries across London. A luminary within the artistic circles, Hughes held pivotal roles, contributing substantially to the Art Workers Guild and gracing the ranks of the Royal Watercolor Society. His tenure witnessed a crescendo of accolades culminating in his election to full membership through his mystical piece, Oh, What's That in the Hollow? Hughes's legacy finds solace in public collections across Britain, from the Ashmolean Museum to the Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery. His narrative was not confined to canvases, but resonated in the chambers of retrospection, as witnessed in the Birmingham Museum's Trust's tribute, Enchanted Dreams, the pre-Raphaelite art of E.R. Hughes. Yet beneath the brush strokes and acclaimed exhibitions, his life was a mosaic woven with personal tales. Engagements and loss, marked by the tragic passing of his beloved Mary, and the embrace of a new chapter with Emily Eliza Davies added layers to his narrative, shaping his artistic odyssey. As the chapter of his life drew to a close in 1914, within the tranquil embrace of St. Albans, Hughes left behind a legacy woven not just in pigments, but in the very fabric of artistic expression. His departure marked the end of an era, yet his brushwork etched timeless tales that continue to stir hearts and minds, beckoning audiences into the realm of enchanted dreams. <laughs>